Hello my friends, welcome back on my channel. As I said in the previous episode, today I want to show you how easy make a camouflage net for a vehicle or even a large scale plane. Of course, this is one of the simplest options without additional elements woven in. I will show other types of masking on the next models. First some theory. As you probably know, the use of camouflage net was and still is to confuse observers during their work and blur the shape of the vehicle by using textile elements and adding pieces of vegetation. This is a fairly simple solution that has been used by the world's armies for a very long time. In the modeling world, it should be remembered that covering the entire model with a masking net is not a good solution. It won't look good and it won't make sense at the same time. In fact, Covering the vehicle is the primary masking task, but here we want to make our model look more attractive to the eye. And just like some elements we paint using appropriate techniques that don't actually apply, the same is with applying a netting. In my opinion no more than 20% of the model should be covered. Of course, each vehicle has its own specificity and you have to judge it with your own eye, but also here the principle that better less than more will be effective. With this in mind, in advance, let's plan where the net should be, how we want to lie it and what colors it should have so that everything matches the model and other elements important in looking at the entire project. It should also be remembered that during the conflict each army used their own patterns, often used the captured ones, so the application on the model may be various. Generally making the camo net is very simple and doesn't require a lot of effort because a piece of gauze, bandage, paint, tap water or PVA glue are enough. Of course gauze can vary so make sure its thickness and width is right for your needs. The same with the colors you will use. I used three colors here but it may be one color or even more. For stiffening use wood glue because it will be possible to run the net without haste and even change it after drying because this material can be remodeled with couple drops of water. I hope everything is clear and my comment on the individual stages is redundant. If you have any questions please write them in the comment. Of course don't forget to subscribe to channel if you haven't already or you are here for the first time. It would also be nice if you click like and look at my other videos I have on my channel. If you are interested in what I do and would like to see more, then be sure to visit my Patreon where you will find more interesting materials. This is where I publish the most at the moment. Just for my patrons who support my channel, massive thanks for you guys. I prepare reports on daily work, articles, ask for their opinion and show advert less films earlier than on the official YouTube channel. In addition there are a few other interesting perks of being a patron but you can see for yourself. I think you won't be disappointed and you will see what other projects I do apart from those shown on YouTube. So please consider joining, you can find the link in the description below.
And that's actually all I wanted to say in this episode, so thank you so much for watching my friends. I hope everything was shown and explained in an easy way and you enjoyed this process. Once more, please subscribe to this channel, click like and write a comment. It will be a great help in the development of the channel and you will do something positive for all mankind and especially for me. If you are regular to my videos, you know that I like to give a little giveaway to people who actually watch the entire video, so today I want to give you this little kit. As always, please do what you see right now and write your question or comment with PL. I will let you know next Monday who is the lucky winner on my wall. So that's all for today, see you next time, cheers!